This moment demands, this moment calls for, what is needed in this moment, the momentum of this moment, this moment, this moment. If this moment is a moment, what moment is this moment? Whose moment is this moment? And for who is it momentary? Because breathlessness is not a momentary condition. We could have told you that. An airway is not obstructed merely from the moment it is physically blocked. It begins when you are expected to breathe in a world which denies you access to air. Tightening of the chest does not merely begin with infection. We could have told you that. How many of us have been holding our breath all our lives? Because in a world whose lungs are gorged upon our asphyxiation, our breathing is unimaginable. And what is unimaginable is unmanageable, unrealistic, abnormal, so just as the moment is not momentary, the normal was never our norm. Normality was never equal, we were never canapes and six-figure salaries, whose normal was old normal, and whose normal is new. Normality was always lethal for us. Us whose breathing threatens the sordid size of the global elite, who tell us they're trying their best to fix our ventilator, when we all know the ventilator isn't broken. It was always meant to work this way. This moment is only momentary for those of us who have never been hungry for air. They eagerly demand the moment to end, decry the ventilator, ignore that our air is funneled directly to them, applaud the nurses, ignore their gasps, make piggy banks out of veterans' backs, shield monuments but not people. They tell us our panting is not for want of oxygen, perhaps try not to move so fast instead. Slow down, stay breathless with a dose of black square anaesthetic, stay breathless with a rebranded respirator, stay breathless with more people clamouring to hear you wheeze, stay breathless with more weight on the neck they say is for your own safety. This moment, they say, is ripe for poetry. The moment is ready, revealing, revolutionary, commission, speak, panel talk, interview, reflect. But you cannot solely word your way to living. You cannot solely write your way to freedom. You cannot solely think your way out of suffocation. We must also tear out they say is helping us to breathe. Pull down the leering faces watching ours turn blue. Kick off the filth we learnt to keep settled in the base of our lungs. It is time to smash and jump and push. Yes, to speak, always to speak, but also to grunt and heave and gasp and breathe. It is time to breathe. If this moment that is not momentary calls for anything, it calls for breath. Breath that cracks open our shallow silence with heavy sobs of strangled grief. Breath that pierces from the base of the diaphragm to rise through a throat too long restrained. Breath that convulses the body, shakes every muscle, awakens the heart. Breath that our mothers have not breathed all their lives. This moment calls for breath. Breath that is even, constant, deliberate, secure. Breath that ebbs and flows with no threat of yoke or weight or knee. Breath that takes the time it needs. Breath the likes reserved to white women in yoga tutorials. This moment that is not momentary calls for breath that floats and rises. Breath that surprises the lips to part with volcanic laughter. Breath that lounges, lazes, dawdles, that is not laboured or strained or struggling. Breath that is safe. Breath that is not in danger of other breath. It is not a moment for words alone. We have given the words, we have been giving the words, but you cannot solely word your way to living. You cannot solely write your way to freedom. You cannot solely think your way out of suffocation. In a world without breath, Words are a scribble with no one to hear them. It is time instead to breathe. It is time for us to breathe. And this time, we will breathe on our own terms. <laughs>